It's Thursday, April 18th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. This week, Volusia County emergency management officials and first responders are training on how to respond to what would be a true nightmare, a condo collapse in Daytona Beach shores. FEMA is organizing the drills along the Volusia County coastline where the sand is lined with condos and hotels. A building collapse is something that could happen because of something that Mother Nature throws at us, a hurricane, a tornado, or it could be even a a terroristic type event. We're doing it together as a whole community so we can minimize that impact on our citizens. FEMA chose Volusia as one of its 12 emergency response groups nationwide for this training, so they'll be one of the most efficient teams to respond if it happens. Governor DeSantis has signed a new law mandating Florida students be taught about communism, and that covers all grades all the way down to kindergarten. We are committed to telling the truth about this ideology, and we are going to make sure that people have a very accurate understanding of the human carnage that has resulted from communist regimes throughout history. Right now, students learn about the history of communism in high school and in a seventh grade civics course. But with this new bill overwhelmingly approved by state lawmakers, the lessons will be spread across all grades. The new law, though, is getting pushback from some Democrats who say Republicans are disingenuous for sponsoring a bill that requires the teaching of a specific viewpoint. And in Brevard County, more than 100 French bulldogs are suddenly surrendered over the past few months. According to Space Coast Frenchie Rescue, the organization is seeing an average of one surrender per day. Since last November, they say 150 dogs have been surrendered, and that is leading to shelter overcrowding. Veterinarians say Frenchies are the second most popular dog in America following the lab, which leads to overbreeding and genetic issues. Color is a result of trying to breed the merle color. So they bred two merle dogs together, um, which leads to this kind of white syndrome. So he's blind and deaf due to them breeding those two colors together. We really need people to kind of stop doing that and leave it to the professionals. Shelters and nonprofits are in desperate need of people to either adopt or foster dogs that have been surrendered. You can find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Florida is the only state to have an embassy in Washington, D.C. Florida House is not, of course, technically an embassy, but it does perform many of the same functions that an embassy from a foreign country might. It's a sanctuary for Floridians with its themed art and gracious living spaces. People can host receptions there and lunches. There's an intern seminar series and a rotating exhibit of Florida artifacts. The house doesn't get any tax money, but instead private donations keep it running. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.